Hey X3 family, welcome to Zoe Jerkies times three. My name is Kenisa and here's little Miss Zozo and Marley sitting right here on my lap. So today I have a video for you guys. I want to give you an unboxing and review of the Pet Gear Booster Seats. So I got two different versions. I got the 360 Travel with the booster that you leave in your car and then I just got the 360 Travel. I saw them on Amazon and I wanted to try them both. So I purchased both of them. I purchased two of the one with the booster and two of the one without and then whichever one I liked more I was going to send back so I wanted to give you guys my complete review of the product and I wanted to show you guys how it works in the car how it looks so if you're interested in learning more about the Pet Gear 360 booster travel system definitely stay tuned for the video alright guys so before we get into the video I don't know if you noticed but Zoe and I are wearing the classy set today so I'll give you guys a little quick put Marley down Alright, so we had to go in and brush the, adjust the brightness a little bit, but my shirt does say classy with the side of, hopefully you can see because I can't see if you can, and then Zoe says sassy. So this is our set. If you are interested in the classy set, definitely head over to our website www.thoserookiestimes3.com where you will find this set and several other sets so you can match your pet and have the cutest little mommy and me or daddy and me shirts so let's go ahead and get into the review so you guys know that I'm always interested in purchasing car seats or something to make sure that my car my dogs are safe while we're on blah, blah, while we are on the road so you see me do car seat videos you see me vlogging you see the dogs in car seats so it's always important to me to make sure that not only I'm buckled up and safe on the road but also that my dogs are buckled up and safe on the road so recently in a video or two ago I was showing you guys that the dogs have been traveling in their pet mates as of late because um, I haven't had their car seats and then I was in the midst of trying to find a car seat that I liked and maybe something to replace their carriers I'll show you their pet mates now because Marley has literally had that pet mate since he was a puppy and Marley's six so it's old and it's a little bit small so I kind of wanted to give them a bit of an upgrade, give them a bit more room. So I got online and I started looking around and I personally love Pet Gear. I like Pet Gear products. You guys know that I do have their stroller. I've done a review on their stroller and I absolutely loved it. Um, and I also have Gen 7 Pet Stroller which is also pretty good. So, when I saw that Pet Gear had a booster system, I loved it and it looks good similar to the double stroller that I have as far as the latching and things like that I was sold so when I saw it online I was like I have to get this so right now I'll currently show you guys what the dogs are in so right now to travel with the dogs I've been using this little carrier nothing wrong with it um, it's just enough room for Marley and Zoe uh, but I did want something to where they could stand up and they would have a little bit more space now be mindful that in these pet carriers your dogs are not supposed to have a ton of room they should have enough room to turn around lay down and be comfortable so you don't have to have a ton of room but as you guys know I do plan on moving soon and I am planning on doing some more traveling with the dogs this year so I wanted to A make sure they were safe and B make sure they were comfortable and I didn't want them to have to travel for hours in this I just don't feel like it would be comfortable and also with this there's no really secure way to strap them in so like for instance I was on the highway a little bit ago and Marley was in this and it kind of like flip to the side and I had to pull over on the side of the highway and get him back situated so there's no way to really secure this and I do not like that because if I do get into an accident I want my dogs to be as secure as possible as safe as possible because if I can do something to prevent them from getting hurt I'm going to do it without hesitation so this is what they have been using as you guys know they have had the little car seats where you hook them in and they, they pop out and things like that I was a little bit worried about that because those don't seem as secure either in my opinion even though they do have some really good car seats it's just the ones that I had I didn't feel that they were that great so like I said when I got online and I saw the booster travel system I was very intrigued I was like ooh and I saw two different ones I saw one for $39.99 and I saw one for $56 so I was like hmm 
decisions decisions so me being me i decided to get four i decided to get two of each so therefore i, I almost got one of each but then i'm like if i like it then i have to wait for marley or zoe to get the second one and send it back so i was like i'm just gonna get all four and i'm gonna review them on the channel so the first one i'll show you is the 39 dollars one and i'll let you guys know at the end which one i decided to keep which you probably already know so let me get it out the box i had unboxed it but i put it back so let me get it and I'll show you guys what it looks like really quick. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It is a Pet Gear 360 carrier for the on the go pet. This is what it looks like. So this, you guys, is the carrier that was $39. I ordered both of these off of Amazon, so I will leave the Amazon link in the description below for both. So I'm going to take it out of the box. And they're super easy to put together. Both of them are very easy. It doesn't require any tools or anything like that. So. Ooh, that was my phone. Anyway, super compact. Not too big. So this is what it looks like. So you pop it out of the plastic. Keep that right there. Comes with the instruction manual, which of course is important. And this is what it looks like super sleek I love the way it looks so at the bottom there are these two bars and you basically just straighten them out like like so like that and so you straighten them out and then you just flip it over and this is how it looks and they do have little latches. It's hard to film this. I'll show you that. They have little latches here. Uh, where is it? Here. And you wrap it around the legs so they won't to secure the these so they won't move around. And you do it on all four sides. So anyway, this is how it looks. And when you want to close it, you just pop it up. And there's a snap right in the front and you just snap it closed and you put your dog in there and you just carry it around like a little pet carrier Ooh, it's kind of heavy but I'm tired this is what the top looks like and this one is the, like I said this is a $39 one so it doesn't come with the booster seat that you can leave in your car so you can just snap your dogs in but it does come with seatbelt attachments on the side. So you just slide the seatbelt in here and then here. And you just hook it in. You just snap them in. So that will secure them so they won't be moving all about. So I'm going to get a closer view for you guys. I think I'm going to put you on my phone so we can look at it closer. And I'll put one of the dogs in so you can see what it looks like. Alright guys, so... This is a close-up of the pet gear. This is the current pet mate that they've been using right here just to give you guys a comparison. And you guys have seen in videos where <laughs> Zoe, there's hers, she like is pushing to not get in it. Um, so, like I said, they are a little bit smaller. These give them a lot more room, a lot more space. So, I'm going to just pop one of them in. So, also, so... To open it up, you can open it on both sides. You just hit this and it opens it up, which is so much easier than like here. I'm having to like do this. Sometimes it's hard for me to get it in, even though it just went in really easy that time. Trying to make a liar out of me, but sometimes it is hard and opening it is a little sometimes funny. Um, So you just, Marley's gone in there because he's so tired of me. Look at him. He's hiding from me. Oh shoot. I wanna show you guys. Look at the Marley. He's hiding in there because he's like she's about to make me do all these things that I don't want to do. And I've been putting him in and out of them and he's sick of it. So he'll hide when I'm trying to do stuff for him. That's his thing. It's the cutest thing because sometimes he'll try to hide under the blanket on the floor. And it's so funny to me. But anyways, there's Marley hiding from us. But he'll come on Marley. Come here, Marley. He's like, no, you won't trick me. 
Okay. Anywho, this is what it looks like. And it's just, when you want to close it, you just snap it back close. And it's secure. Like, it's not going to open. There's the top, the handle. And then you can unsnap it on this side as well. And it just pops open. Okay. And you can, of course, if you want it to be all the way open, you can do it halfway open like this. Kind of like a little bassinet. And they both come with... Um, little seat belts here so you can secure your dogs which is what I would definitely do you can secure them you can secure them using their harnesses in here so they'll be nice and secure but anyways you can have it half open like this and if you want it to like maybe you're out and you wanted them to just have full view there's two buttons here and here and you press them at the same time and you can push it back obviously i can't do it because i'm holding the camera let me see if i can pop it up so you would just hit both sides and it comes down and it's fully open for them which i love so since marley is playing hide and seek i'm going to put little miss zoe in here so that's what zoe looks like and she's out <laughs> um this is what she looks like. Stay for me. She's in there. And I'm just going to snap it close. All right. So I have it snapped close. All right. So you guys see that she's able to fully stand up and look at all the room that she still has in there. And yeah. So she has still a lot of space. She's not tight. She can sit up straight if she wants to. She can fully stand up if she wants to. It's very ventilated. You see there's all the mesh. There she is. She's sitting down now. It has all the mesh in here. So super ventilated. She can easily see whatever she needs to see. And she's comfortable. And I like that she can sit up. And I like that she can kind of move around. And her pet may, of course, she couldn't, she couldn't stand at all. All she can do is kind of turn and like a low turn and lay. So this gives her a lot more options. And look, there she goes. She's laying down. And then if you see her laying down, look at all the space that she still has. I also want to show you guys Marley in here because he's a bit smaller than Zoe. And he has so much space in here. But yeah, that's her laying down in it. So they're comfortable. I love it. Now, these pads at the bottom are very thin. So I'm definitely going to get them. I went to PetSmart yesterday to try to get them little bed inserts. But PetSmart was super low on bed. So I'm probably going to get them some cute little blankets to go inside. Some new blankets. And I'll probably get, because they're both black. I ordered only black. I was going to order Zoe a pink one. But I was like, man, I like the, the look of the black. So I'm going to order them her maybe like a pink blanket. And him maybe like a blue blanket or a gray blanket or something like that. But yeah, that's how she looks in there. And then if she wants to get, or if you want to let her out, you just pop it up. And she's free. She can come out. Good girl, Zozo. So that's what that looks like. And like I said, this part is very thin. So you would definitely, I mean, you don't have to. But I'm going to put like a blanket or something soft in there. So when we're traveling, because we're supposed to be going to Atlanta this weekend. I want to make sure that they're comfortable on the drive. Because um, this will be their first time traveling in these. So yeah, this is the... $39 one super good super sturdy it does not feel cheap it has some good weight on it it's, it's heavy but not too heavy so you it's it's quality it's quality product in my opinion so this is the first one now I'm going to show you guys the $56 one and I'm just going to leave this one up so we can compare it there we go got that done all right so now I'm going to show you guys the one that's a little bit more expensive and it does come with the booster seat or the uh, car booster. So you leave that section in the car, you just click it in so you don't have to. The thing with the $39 one is you have to weave the seatbelt through each time you use it. So you have to put them in there, get behind there, put the seatbelt on, put them in there, get behind there, put the seatbelt on, which can be a little bit tedious. So I also saw the option with the boosters. So all you have to do is just snap them in and you can go. So this, I already put this one together. Um, but I will, well, I already put this one together, but I do have the other one that's still in the box because I only opened one of each. So I can kind of play around with them and see what I like better. Anywho, so this is the other one. And I love it. I just love it. I'm so happy with the purchase. So first things first, I love how this handle is. 
The $39 one, the one that's a little bit cheaper, the handle is attached to the carriage at the top. And I love that this one is not. So you have a lot more options. And then the same thing, if you want this handle to go down, you just push. There's a button here and a button here. So you would just push both buttons and the bottom, the top goes down. And it does get a little bit, in my opinion, a little bit flatter than the other one, the less expensive. This is what it looks like. And then if you want the top up, you can have the top up, snap it close, you can have the top up and the arm down if you want, that's what it would look like, or if you want to snap the arm back into place, it just snaps right back into place and then it's, as you can see, it's locked in and you have a lot more space. That's one thing that I didn't like about the $39 one was the fact that all you can literally do is like put your fingers through with this one you can put your whole arm in here and kind of like hook them in and carry them like this or hold them so I, I really like that also I just like the design of this one a touch better I like that it's all this cognac color and then it just has the black on the sides I think it just looks nicer in my opinion I think it looks a lot more sleek and just finished to me but overall, everything else is pretty much the same. It's all air ventilated and it still has the snaps on both sides. You can enter through either side. So yeah, this is what it looks like. And I really, really love it. Now, this is like my favorite part of the piece de resistance is the actual booster because the thought of trying to weave that <laughs> Seat belt in each time was a little bit discouraging for me personally, especially having two dogs and having to do that on each side and possibly having a third dog soon. Having to try to do that, it's just a lot. Zoe, what are you doing? What are you putting back there? Zoe's tearing up the carpet. So, it comes with this booster seat. Super cool. So, pretty much here, you put this together, it comes apart. Super easy to put together. You just snap it in, no tools needed. You just take, uh, can you see it? You take these off and then take this one off. You put the seat belt in here and then you latch it back and secure it. And that's how you have it to where it's secured to the seat belt. And it does not move once you get it in there. It's pretty, it's pretty stable in there. So this will always just sit like this in your car. So it would be long ways because your seat belt will be here. So I'm gonna show you guys how it snaps in, how this one snaps in, and then I'm going to get, drag Marley out. He's still in his pet mate. He's trying to be slick. I'm going to get him out, and I'm going to put him in the, the $56 one and show you guys how it looks. Okay, guys. So, here is a, just a side-by-side -side comparison. This is the one that, don't mind my nail. It's, it's broke. Don't even look at it. <laughs> um, so, this is the $56 one, and that is the $39 one. So pretty much the, the actual carrier is exactly the same. The only thing that's pretty different is the handle, which of course I love that because like I said, this handle is attached. So you can't take it off and you only have that little bit of space. Whereas this handle, you have a lot more leeway and a lot more room. And of course the other difference is this one comes with the clamp. So you can clamp it to the booster. So I'm gonna show you guys how that looks. So basically you would put it in the booster's long ways, and you will put this in sideways like that. And basically, when you're putting your dogs in, you just clamp it in. And you just go on the other side, and you clamp it in. And that's it. And they are, you see, it's secure. They're not going anywhere. They are locked in and load it and I like it too because it gives them some height so they're able to see out the window and see better so yeah let's get Mr. Marley out <laughs> so he can try it oh gosh let's see if I can feel me getting him out of here because he's so you guys know a dramatic dog it is the Marley Zoe help me get him Zoe get Marley Zoe get Marley Get him. She's like, no, I'm not. He's on his own. Come on, Marley. Come on, puppy. Come on. Okay. 
He's not gonna come willingly. I'm gonna have to drag him out. There's the puppies. There's your big boy Marley. We got him, y'all. So let's go ahead and put him in here and see how it looks. So you just pop it open. And then I would just place Marley in there. And boom. And you guys saw how he was in the other one. He could just lay down this one. He's able to fully sit up. And you see all the room. He still has. He looks so sad. He's not sad, I promise. He just has to get used to it. And he, they just don't like to be put up that much. But I feel like this will improve. So, there you go. Get comfy. I'm going to put you a nice comfy blanket in there. So, it won't be so hard. But, yeah. So, that's how it looks. And you can see all the room he has compared to when he was in here. He didn't have any room. And I'll just show you guys. Let me see if I can put it next to. Sorry, guys. I'm trying. But Zoe's jumping everywhere. Let me just see if I can put this next to the other one so you can see the difference in the height which does help and i will show you guys me strapping the booster into the car and i'll show you the dogs both into it so now there's a difference here's the one with the booster attached and here's the one without marley mm -hmm. so yeah that's how they look in there. And I just feel like they're a lot more comfortable in there, a lot more free, a lot more ventilation. I mean, even though this one does have ventilation, but they just have a lot more space and they can sit up and I like they can, they can sit, they can stand, they can lay out fully and be fully comfortable and not feel too congested in there, which like I said, you don't want your dogs to have too much space, but I do think it was time for them to get a little bit of an upgrade. So yeah, these are both of them. Alright guys, so that was a review of both of the Pet Gear 360 system and the Pet Gear 360 system with the booster. If you couldn't tell from the video, I am keeping the more expensive one because I love the booster seat. The thought of having to finagle that seat belt in and out of the 360 without the booster just felt like a lot for me personally because I have two dogs and possibly three soon. So I wanted something that I could just snap them in and I just love how I can just snap them in pop pop and they are secure. I know they're safe and I know they're comfortable. So I will be keeping the $56 one because um, I just I just love it. I love the way it looks and I love that I can keep these in the home. Um, so, so I'm going to get rid of these pet mates. Um, well, actually, I'm going to give them back to Jaren. And I can keep these in the house and keep the dogs and their pet mates at home. And then if we're leaving somewhere, I can just carry their pet, the carriers out, their pet gears out, snap them in, and we're ready to go. And when it's time to come home, I can bring them in. It's easier transportation for me with the dogs to just be able to carry them. Bop, bop. If we're going to, like, the vet or something, I can just put them in their carriers and carry them in. Boom, boom. Of course, I still use their stroller. I love their stroller, but this is just easy far as keeping them safe in the house when I need to put them up and keeping them safe in the car which is so important driving with your dogs even if you don't get a carrier um, it's also important maybe you can get a harness that connects to the seatbelt just to make sure your dogs are secure in the event that something happens of course we hope nothing does happen but if it does you know your dog is safe so that is everything that we have today definitely check out our website www.thejerkiestimes3 if you're interested in getting a matching set with your pup like Zoe and I have on today day and we have several other matching sets on our website that you guys can also check out do not forget to check out our instagram we are posting so many so much interesting content and fun content of the dogs and different things and we're interacting with you guys on instagram so definitely check out our instagram at those jerkies times three do not forget to like comment share and subscribe to our youtube channel we are growing we are on the road to 20,000, and that is just mind-blowing so so excited to hit that milestone and see what way we'll celebrate um but yeah that is everything you guys thank you so 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 much for watching and we'll see you in the next one bye guys